holy moly. I don't even know how we're going to pronounce mole. Mole? 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 Uh, this is going to come at us real fast here, people, so look alive. I'm standing in the start grid right now, getting ready to practice my start gear. And, um, yeah, this isn't something that I get to show you in every free ride. This van and these people were not here. Uh, so these are a little bit kind of slick cobbles. When I was pre-riding, this turn was a little bit frosty. And then on the pavement here, it's a reduced radius turn as you make that transition, plus there's the post. Luckily, my start was good, so I didn't get stuck in any kerfuffles if there were any. Pump down here and a little divot across that turf, and then immediately uh, crossing onto a few different paved surfaces. Uh, get a little reprieve here on this pavement, which it's not a reprieve. It was fast, guys. Like, this is pre-ride and it looks fast. The race was faster! And if you know me, you know I don't go fast. So these are some tennis courts to our right. Hop up, um, obviously you want to take the lane of most resistance and hop up on those little paver stones there. Before you hop up on, yes, that's right, more pavement people, because that's what we need. Something faster. <laughs> so the ground here, it's a nice loamy soil, so despite any precipitation that we may have had leading into this, uh, it was very, very dry. Uh, first race uh, on file treads for me this season. So on this first part of the lap, it's that nice well-drained soil and a lot of transitions up and over uh, walkways. Nice little burned in line here with some nice ruts that uh, strangely were not scary for me. Uh, another little transition here, uh, you can see I sort of humped the bike up and over because I did not want to pinch flat. In sand, you want to run lower pressure, but on pavement, you run, want to run higher pressure. So I kind of ran a little bit higher than I normally would because I figured I suck at sand anyway, so I'd probably be running. <laughs> Nothing matters about your tire pressure if your tires aren't on the ground. As you can see, there were a little bit of roots there. Uh, they're painted nice and bright yellow. And here, <laughs> I think this is my second lap. My first lap, I was following Man on Backer, who tried to ride those stairs, and I did not know they were there. And I followed her in full, full tilt boogie, and it almost did not go well for me. But uh, did not obviously ride the stairs. I don't think she did in the race. Uh, nice little pump on this undulation here, because again, we're in Belgium, so we need some random mounds to ride up and over. And I know it's mole and you're expecting sand. Sand will come, but first they have to make sure to drop me because everybody knows I suck at sand, so they just put all this real fast shit early in the lap so everybody can pass me. <laughs> it was really fast, guys. I'm a diesel, and it did not, did not go well for me. So again, more pavement as we go through uh, this left-hand turn. Nice little berm, hop over a little root there. Uh, this is like a small intro to sand right here. I rode that efficiently and was like, look at me, I'm a sand rider. And in lap one, right about here on this pavement stretch, a group of like 20 women were like, oh, why are you going so slow? And they just passed me like a freaking freight train. Like I was standing still and my heartbeat was like 200 beats per minute. And I was like, wait, is this a crit? I should have just run my road tires. So again, we're still on pavement through these like sweeping turns here. Uh, little turn on to a new set of paver stones. And I was always afraid that somehow I was going to like flat on that little corner, but I never did. And here we get our first introduction to sand. Luckily, this is downhill, so it sort of like strokes your ego. You can see I'm not really making a great clean run at it right now. There's a lot of like moving around, but coming, coming through here at race pace, I mean, it was for sure my favorite bit of sand because it was the only part that I consistently rode the whole race. And now this is our lake to our left is we're riding here on the shoreline and two lanes sort of developed here come race time. Uh, I tried the left and the right. It seems like a lot of people were going left, but I don't know. It was real wet there. I don't want to get wet. It was real cold out. So I just stayed here. Wasn't very loose. Whatever. It was dry. It seemed nice. hook a right hand turn here into some deep sand and look at me I'm like I'm such a baller I'm riding this and you're not and this is about the time my legs were like ooh girl you made a real bad choice I was like you're right leg let's run it uh, quick hop on there and it looks like a little bit of sand here but it's really quite firm ground and I'm slowing down a lot here because I was like Whew, that was a real regrettable effort trying to ride that sand <laughs> And that, uh, that little sand pit, it went pretty well for me there, but in the race, I was usually pretty gassed and it, it did not go well for me. Uh, so this nice sweeping left-hand turn into this sand, most people stayed pretty far left, but I felt like the right, because there were fewer lines, it meant there was less chance of me missing a line and like exploding into a giant pile. 
so I stayed right and it went pretty well. Now if you, again, path of least resistance, go on these pavers, get some speed to hump up this little, you know, Belgian knob. In geology, there was a thing we studied called Gandalf's knob. Little right hand turn here, we're going to drop down and then on the way back up there's two lines. There's that inside line on the left and I'm hanging right to try to carry more speed, but I always dropped my front wheel down that back side. Uh, so here I managed to make it up just barely, but in the race I ended up hooking the turn pretty close on the left and then just uh, popping off midway up and uh, running a few steps before I mounted and then came back down through here. In this turn here to the left, uh, I because it's a downhill, ended up going a lot faster than I expected and always ended up exiting that turn pretty wide and it was a lot looser. So in the race, I found it best to choke up my speed and stay a little bit tighter on that turn. And then you're able to descend and then pedal through here and stick this nice one line, which I there was, I don't know, like three inches to the left of the line because I'm an idiot. But if you stay in the rut, you're able to ride uh, pretty much halfway up this hill just by coasting. Uh, and you don't even really need to put in any pedal strokes because, I mean, at least I'm not going to pedal all the way up. So I just hopped off with nice momentum and... I'd like to say that I ran up, but really I walked up and then mount and pick a line and pedal. This is downhill, but you still have to pedal and it's sand, so you still have to pick a line and hope you stick to it and stick, keep light on the front end. And then what's better than pedaling downhill? Having a freaking sand pile at the bottom that you also have to sludge through. Now, if you look to the right, there's like a little hump. I don't know why that's there and why there's a line of people riding it, because why would you add elevation to a course when you didn't have to? So I stayed left there and then entered this nice, pretty fast section. Uh, and thankfully, I did not hit any of these where very well-marked trees. Very well-marked. I'm very impressed. And it was very necessary because this section was ripping fast. I mean, at least compared to the sand that we just went through. And uh, it was actually nice to be able to pedal efficiently, but also not have it be on pavement where I felt like everyone was somehow dropping me. Pump over that little transition here before you set up for this right-hand turn uh, and go through this sand. This was the most insulting sand pit of the entire course. And halfway through the race, I was getting a little bit too aggressive and tried to enter with too much speed and just blew the turn and immediately exploded. And I found that if you enter, I entered a little bit more controlled, I found it easier to find a line. And by the way, you just saw one of the three times out of like the 12 that I went through that sand and was able to actually ride it. So kudos for everybody witnessing this huge achievement of mine. And then quickly after achieving greatness, I, how the mighty have fallen. I make like three pedal strokes into this sand pit over here. Uh, I don't think at least any of the women rode all of this. Uh, I mean, I don't know, probably the men did because freaking men, am I right? And here, full diva squad engage, draped over the bars, just <laughs> trudging through this sand. <laughs> I, at this point, I'm probably thinking like, why did I even sign up for this race? It is half crit, which I'm terrible at, half sand, which I'm terrible at. Overall, it was a pretty mediocre race for me. Uh, and here, a little bit of hard pack, or not hard pack, it was like a pavement walk path. And I thought that was a good point to get on and then pedal through this. But in the race, I was so gassed that I got on on the pavement and then I could barely pedal through this sand. So I pretty much just ran through that sand too because why not be embarrassing? Uh, a little bit of pavement before you turn onto this uh, hard pack ground here. And again, more well-documented trees because, I don't know, Maybe somebody would run, run into them if they weren't marked with orange. And here we are entering onto the finish straight. We're gonna go under that little finish banner there. We don't have the um, electronics saying how many laps to go and what our time is and what our gap is. Just some old school dude hand, hand, holding up a card. And a little right hand turn here to your left is where we started our lap and uh, to our right is where I'm gonna end it. So uh, thanks for joining me for another pre-ride, and I hope you enjoyed it. It was a ripping fast one.